my name is Doug Weyburn. I am from Russia in the region called Chuvashia, which used to be its own state and became part of Russia. Living in an orphanage, we experience both a positive and negative. You have basic necessities as an orphan, but both basic necessities are not enough. As a youngster at uh, four, five, six years of age, I didn't know where my parents were. I, as a matter of fact, no one knew. For me personally, I kind of had, had to uh, hide out within me. When we went to camps, um, I mean, I've, I had some, I had to actually, a few times I had to get away um, and be by myself a little bit because of so much memories that were coming that it was like overwhelming at some points that I had to walk away. It was just because so, much, so many camps over there are quite similar and just the environment is very similar to what I, uh, to what I had, what I experienced. Most kids that come from homes, they're already experienced home life and a lot of it was negative, a lot of it. To the point they're already having such a negative point of view in life. So much, so much anger and hostility that they already built in the, in the first years. And what that does is when it's brought into the orphanage, it's brought onto other kids. These negative things, such as, I mean, bullying and even unspeakable things that are brought to the orphanage. And a lot of the kids experience that. And unfortunately what happens is when those kids graduate and they go off to tech school or whatever, it passes on to the next generation. And the next generation of kids pass on to the next and pass on to the next. That's why so many kids have been at 15 years old, 15, 16 years old when they get out of the orphanage. They get into things such as uh, drugs, alcohol, prostitution even. Uh, some commit suicide because they can't handle life. When I was growing up, I was fortunate and God was gracious enough that he provided a loving family for me. Yes, it was hard I, uh, moving here at 14 years years old. Moving culture shock, language barrier, and other things. But in, in despite of all that, God has shown me so much love through those people that that it changed it changed me, it changed my heart totally, completely. Living in the orphanage, what makes a huge difference is there's a program that uh, that started. It's called Operation Christmas Child. What it is, it's a shoebox. So you receive some goods in the shoebox. You know, uh, things like uh, soap, wash towel, uh, some candy, even some you know uh, toys and some other just you know good stuff. To live in an orphanage and not to have that. And then all of a sudden having that as a gift, it's like getting a present. It's like getting a Christmas present. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Having your own bar of soap, having your own wash towel. It's like getting a present that, that you, you've never, literally had never had that before because within the, um, my peers, we shared, between 14, 15 peers, we shared one bar of soap. So imagine if we can do the same. Why is Ally so important? It is because they step in and, and they show the kids with love and compassion those things do not have to be in your life at all. You can be a productive a member of society and there are people who care about you and that love you, really. When Allies in new development steps in and does that, it changes people's lives. It changes, more importantly, it changes those children's lives. Now, it also changes the volunteers' lives. It, cha it totally changes their life and their outlook because m a lot of them are completely in awe of what Allies is doing because they know how much effort Allies in New Development is putting into this project and this organization. 
So by doing that, they also change their life. By doing that, they also show God's love. And that's the, that's the most important thing, is that they do just that. They show God's love to others.